devastating fire breaks out in New York. We have the info you need. And a mystery from the deep is now resurfacing, and we have the story. And I'm back in studio with an update on last night's game. Stay tuned, because NHS TV Live starts right now. An apartment building caught fire in New York City, and the flames left devastation and loss in their wake. The fire began shortly before 11 a.m. Eastern Time and first consumed the bedroom, and then the entire duplex apartment on the second and third floors of a 19-story apartment building, leaving 17 people, including eight children, dead, as well as 63 others injured. City fire officials said the source of the fire was a malfunctioning space heater, which set one apartment on fire that soon spiraled into the complex wide flames that claimed so many innocent lives. We here at NHS TV send our thoughts and prayers to the victims and their families of this tragedy. Thanks for the update, Ian. Seniors, if you're looking for a chance to show off your plans for after high school, now's your chance. Senior brags will be posted on social media and in school throughout the rest of the year. And to get them to brag about you, scan the QR code located outside room 109 to fill out the Google form. And if underclassmen are interested in pursuing a career in education and childcare after high school, the Teaching and Training Pathway has the opportunity for you. They're offering an internship to work at an NISD elementary school for three days a week during school hours. To participate, sign up with the tiny URL given by January 20th. See Ms. Hamby in room 817 with any questions. Now, AJ is here in studio to give you a sports update. How's it going, AJ? Thanks, Ventura. Quite odd seeing you here on a Tuesday, Texans, but I have some very important sports news to tell you. Last night, the college football playoff national championship commenced yesterday against number one Alabama and number three Georgia Bulldogs. The first half was very close in score, with Alabama only being up by three in the end of the first half. In the late first quarter, Georgia running back Zamir White scoring the first touchdown of the game, making the score 13 to nine with the extra point kick. Alabama soon returned with a touchdown in the starting minutes of the fourth quarter. With the game still being close, in Al Georgia and Alabama stay close in score in all game until Georgia sealing the game with two more touchdowns, making the final score of the game 33-18. to What a crazy game, I tell you, my eyes were glued to the screen all night. Anyway, a couple of reminders, the Dallas Mavericks play tomorrow against the Knicks at 6.30. Also, our Cowboys are the first wild card game will be this Sunday at 3.30 against the 49ers. Now thank you Texans for tuning in to your Texan Sports Report. Thank you, AJ. Now, reporter Reagan McDonald gave us some information on one woman who made a historic flight. The round the world ladybird and her crew, ready for an adventure that nobody has ever tried before. Amelia Earhart, out to circle the Earth at the latitude of the equator, and that's the Earth's greatest circle. Born on July 24, 1897, and raised in Atchison, Kansas, legend Amelia Earhart began to develop her passion for aviation at a very young age and continued to steadily gain more flying experience during her 20s. In 1932, she was piloting a Lockheed Vega 5B when Earhart made a non-stop solo transatlantic flight and became the first woman to achieve such a feat receiving the United States Distinguished Flying Cross for this accomplishment. But she didn't stop there. Today marks the day that Earhart made history in a flight from Hawaii to California, the first ever successful solo flight conducted by a woman to be reported in 1935. Sadly, she disappeared two years later on July 2, 1937, and was declared dead on January 5, 1939. However, her legacy as one of the greatest female pilots on Earth continues to live on and inspire others still to this day. With NHS TV, this has been Reagan McDonald. Moving from one mystery to the next, our own NHS TV reporter Ty Steffen is back once again with Texan Investigations, looking into a deep sea mystery. Sharks. They're some of the most fascinating creatures on our planet. They come in all shapes and sizes and devour pretty much anything that gets in their way. Sharks have been around for over 400 million years long before dinosaurs roamed the earth. But did you know that sharks actually eat each other? Well, they do. Oh my god! Wow! Today, on Texan Investigation, we'll see if the great white shark really is 
the ocean's apex predator. In 2003, Australian filmmaker and marine biologist Dave Riggs was asked to tag an adult great white shark off the coast of Australia so they could study its behavior. One of the first great whites Riggs and his team were able to tag was a nine foot long female. She was strong, healthy, and given the nickname Alpha. Four months later, her tag was found washed up on a beach and was handed in by someone walking by. After reviewing the data captured by the tag, researchers were left both shocked and confused about what had happened. The data showed that at 4 a.m. on November 23, 2003, the shark suddenly plunged at high speeds 520 meters down the edge of a continental shelf, along with a massive temperature change in seconds. The only explanation that the researchers could give was that Alpha was devoured by an enormous sea monster and was deep inside its stomach. If this is the case, the most likely suspect is another, even larger, cannibal great white shark, which had to be at least three times Alpha's size, making it one of the largest great whites ever recorded. Another explanation is that the tag had fallen off Alpha and was eaten by another fish who thought it was food. But to this day, what really happened down there remains a mystery. But what do you think? Did the tag fall off Alpha and was eaten by another fish? Or did Alpha become dinner for an undiscovered sea monster? Stay curious, my friends, and I'll see you on the next episode of Texan Investigation. That actually freaks me out a little, Ian. Well, on to, on to a little more comforting news. New movies are coming to streaming services in theaters near you. Here are some movies coming to streaming services in theaters. After their recent introduction into the Marvel Universe, The Eternals is coming to the streaming service Disney Plus January 12th. From brand new releases to the return of a classic, the new Scream remake, Scream 5, is coming to all movie theaters nationwide January 14th. A new killer has donned the ghost face mask and begins targeting a group of teenagers to resurrect secrets from the town's deadly past. Hotel Transylvania, Transformania, is coming to Amazon Prime Video January 14th. And lastly, Redeeming Love comes to theaters January 22nd. Redeeming Love is a powerful story of relentless love and perseverance. Before we go, if you are a senior and you forgot to add your senior quote for the yearbook, there is still time. Quotes are being finalized next week and there is still time to get yours in. Just check out the link below. Make it a good day, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.